Good evening. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. I'm Marie Claire. Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received at Gudebia Palace today the chief advisor to the Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, Mr. Sefer Turan, and his accompanying delegation. His Royal Highness said the directives of His Majesty the King to enhance cooperation with Turkey comes in line with the Kingdom's care for the outstanding bilateral relations in all fields and in appreciation to the historic stature of Turkey as vital regional model in development and economic fields. The Deputy of His Majesty the King noted the importance of recent leadership meetings, including His Majesty the King's visit to Turkey, in addition to exchanged visits at all levels. He commended the deep-rooted relations between the two countries and Turkey's supportive stance to the Kingdom, confirming the importance of further enhancing joint cooperation. His Royal Highness highlighted the shared economic opportunities and the necessity to activate the agreements that have been signed between the two sides to serve both countries and their people. He pointed out that the historic bilateral relations contributed in unifying the shared vision in regards to issues of common concern that have proven the two countries' keenness to reinforce joint cooperation and maintain regional security and stability. For his part, the chief advisor to the Turkish president expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness Deputy of His Majesty the King for his interest in developing Bahraini-Turkish relations and supporting joint cooperation so as to achieve progress and prosperity for both countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued Edict 42 for this year, transferring the Director of Public Relations and Media at the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Fahad Qasim Mohamed Bouale, to be Director of Telecommunications at the Works Affairs in the same ministry. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 43, appointing Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa as Director of Museums at Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa held a meeting today with governors in the presence of the General Coordinator of Governorates. At the outset, the Interior Minister lauded the level of cooperation between the Ministry and Governorates who play a key role in learning about the requirements of the public and working to fulfil them. In discussing issues related to governorate affairs and projects implemented, the Interior Minister directed to form a security committee at each governorate to be headed by the Governor and with the membership of the Deputy Governor, General Director of the Police District, representatives from the General Directorate of Civil Defence, General Directorate of Criminal Investigation and Forensic Science and General Directorate of Traffic. The committee shall be assigned to study security cases in governorates, coordinate related matters with concerned authorities and propose ideas on projects to protect general order and security. The committee shall follow security situations and suggest security strategies for the governorate, in addition to contributing in the setting up of security plans and programmes. The committee shall also be responsible for enhancing security awareness and study district security issues to propose solutions. Each governor will refer periodic reports to the Interior Minister on the operations of the committee. The Interior Minister then asserted the importance of undertaking comprehensive security measures to protect and secure vital utilities and direct the condition of a study to regulate the working hours of shops within a general policy to protect people and their interests. The meeting reviewed a number of projects in the governorates and listed, listened to a briefing on planning criteria for places of worship to provide them with the required services. The meeting also discussed a report on removing deserted cars in which the minister directed to complete the process in coordination with police forces. Marking the 20th anniversary of the formation of governorates, the Interior Minister hailed the proposal to issue stamps depicting historical landmarks and remarkable achievements in Bahrain. The General Director of Criminal Investigation and Forensic Science then briefed the meeting on the number of security cases that have taken place in all governorates from 2007 to August of this year. At the end of the meeting, the Interior Minister asserted the importance of continuing the integrated work with all concerned authorities to promote community partnership in order to meet the aspirations of citizens and make them key partners in building dis their districts. He also thanked the governors for their hard work in serving the nation. 
The recent visit of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa to Russia reaffirms His Majesty's keenness to boost ties and broaden cooperation between Bahrain and countries of the world in various political, economic, cultural and social fields to co serve common interests, or in this report. During his visit to Russia, His Majesty the King held official talks with President Vladimir Putin, during which they reviewed bilateral relations and ways to consolidate them in all areas based on their outstanding friendship and expanding cooperation. И этот ваш визит будет той же плодотворным, как и наши предыдущие встречи. Целый ряд возможностей для расширения нашего взаимодействия это с тем, что мы можем предложить нашим друзьям и партнерам. Мы нашкут фахантур раис ала дагва и истикбал и хафау. Мы нанкад ли фахант тахият ахл бахрейн. Мы сагдна льюм бил маград ал المنظومات العسكرية الحديثة المتطورة نحن سنبني من العلاقات على ما بنينا في السابق ولله الحمد ما اتفقنا عليه في الماضي هو في طريق التنفيذ وهناك المزيد من يعني الأهداف المرجوة اللي نريد تحديدها بين روسيا والبحرين وفخامة الرئيس وحكومته لهم تقدير كبير his Majesty the King and President Putin also attended the signing of Military Technical Cooperation Agreement, an effort to establish an intergovernmental economic committee and two memorandums of understanding on gas and oil cooperation and on establishing a partnership in geophysical surveys for oil and gas. Also during his visit, His Majesty the King visited the Russian military tech show Army 2016 and the city of Kobenka near the capital Moscow. On arrival at the show, His Majesty was received by Russian Deputy Prime Minister for Military Industrial Complex Dmitry Rogozin and the Russian Defense Minister General Sergei Shoigo. He was also briefed on the latest Russian military technology of the exhibited military equipment, including the high-tech Russian air defense missile system S-400 and the latest Russian T-14 Armata tanks. After the tour, His Majesty held official talks with the Russian Deputy Prime Minister on aspects of cooperation in the field of space science between Bahrain and Russia. His Majesty the King stressed the importance of benefiting from Russian expertise to meet Bahrain's future goals and aspirations in the field of space science. The timing of the visit of His Majesty the King to Russia reflects Bahrain's understanding that all security and economic challenging facing the region can only be dealt with through cooperation and coordination with brotherly and friendly countries. His Majesty the King's successful visit will undoubtedly consolidate bilateral ties and deepen the framework of cooperation and coordination between the two countries. A high-level delegation comprised of global health leaders and sponsors of the WHO was in Bahrain this week to evaluate the quality of health policies and services in the kingdom. Bahrain is one of the first countries to go through this evaluation process and the results are promising. Mohamed Al Shaban has more details in this report. A joint external evaluation mission concluded its work tour of Bahrain today. The WHO-sponsored mission, which is comprised of leading global experts in the fields of health protection and management, conducted various field visits to assess and evaluate the systems and services provided in the kingdom. It seems that the, the, the number of countries who had you know, done all this, only, only 13, and Bahrain, I think, is the, one of the uh, earliest countries that are doing this. So I think, you know, all this monitoring and, you know, things that about regulation, you know, how you are dealing with the things that, you know, are infection, relating, you know, kind of diseases, the relation between the infections of, you know, human beings with the, uh, uh, with the animals and with the, uh, this kind of thing actually uh, affect the whole thing. So I think, you know, this kind of thing is very important. The visit, which kicked off on the 4th of September and lasted for five days, involved a number of meetings and technical area discussions with different officials and health and government entities on current and future policies and strategies. The 15 experts also toured the Kingdom's facilities to take a closer look at the way of work and quality of services. The mission is, is uh, aiming at improving countries' uh, capacities to uh, prevent, detect and respond to uh, different kind of uh, health threats. This is an international initiative. Uh, WHO has a strong role in it. 
but there are also uh, other organizations including FAO, OIA and uh, experts from uh, different countries. The WHO has conducted similar visits in other countries. Bahrain opted to have this mission take place and welcomed it with open arms as it works towards its vision of sustainable quality and excellence. This uh, joint external evaluation has so far been conducted in 12 countries uh, globally and uh, uh, our understanding is that Bahrain has excellent capacities uh, in many of the uh, international health uh, regulation areas. And the Kingdom of Bahrain remains adamant to continue to re-evaluate and better its services across all platforms and according to the global standards to present the best to its citizens. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News. And for more on the results of the visit from an international delegation sponsored by the World Health Organization to the Kingdom of Bahrain, we're joined in the studio by Chief Physician and Head of the Vaccination Programme Unit at the National Institute for Health and Welfare in Finland, Dr. Tenali Pumalainen. Good evening, Dr. Tenali. Thank evening. you for joining us. You're welcome. What, how is your evaluation of the developments of Bahrain's healthcare system? Um, first of all, we okay. were not able to uh, evaluate the whole healthcare system. We were concentrating on uh, especially uh, health security and uh, sections of healthcare which are especially relevant when it comes to um, international health regulations and uh, issues like uh, current Zika virus or coronavirus or any of the uh, infectious diseases or maybe also uh, accidents or uh, other type of uh, natural catastrophes which may uh, face any country. And where does Bahrain stand in comparison to the region and the world? Well, um, as was mentioned, uh, Bahrain is uh, the country number 13 that has gone through this uh, evaluation. And uh, we are not comparing countries, we are not making any ranking list. But I must say that the delegation was very impressed by, by your national capacities. And uh, out of the uh, 19 dif different technical areas, Bahrain uh, achieved what we are calling as sustainable capacity, the highest possible uh, marks on, on many of those areas. That's definitely good to know. Yes. And what do you advise health officials in Bahrain to do to further improve services related to health security in the kingdom? Well, we were able to identify a, a number of uh, technical issues, uh, but uh, as I said, the overall capacity is excellent. Um, we were extremely impressed by your immunization system, as a good example. Um, you have a very good capacity to uh, detect different uh, diseases, also uh, chemical and radiation events. Um, so I would say that the most of the uh, items and issues that we were able to identify were uh, improvements to uh, already good capacity. Well, I'm sure everybody watching will be very glad to hear that. Dr. Tanali, thank you so much for joining us and we hope you've enjoyed your visit here in Bahrain. I have indeed. Thank you. Thank you.